very beautiful. So I'm gonna do a really, really quick video today just to give you a time frame of how long it takes me to edit these videos. It was my birthday two days ago, that's October 8th, and I turned 20. And what do people do when they turn 20? They re-dye their hair blue. That's what they do. 20 is a weird age to turn and I don't know how I feel about it at the moment. Aging and stuff is part of life really, isn't it? But the thing that I'm like, oh my god, is I'm not a teenager anymore and I'm nearing those years of I'm gonna have to be a proper adult, aren't I? And don't think I'm ready. Anyway, I'm wearing a Doctor Who shirt crossed with Sleeping Beauty, so I think I win here. Um, I'm basically going to give like a product review kind of thing. I said that I'm going to change up doing different kind of videos all about this. And I used a completely new brand for me. I've never seen it before. I went on Boots website and I found it, so I don't know whether it's an online exclusive or if you can get in shops, but I live, as I've probably mentioned a thousand times before, in the middle of nowhere and so we don't have really big boots shops so it may just not have been available in smaller chain of branches branches brand called bleach london if i can work this you'll see a picture now can't really tell uh, it was like quite light turquoisey tint to it uh, yeah sorry about school makeup i was practicing for halloween it's quite light anyway but i thought i might as well bleach it so it's clean and canvas and all that lot and hopefully the dial tape so i used i don't have the box because i was an idiot and threw it away um but i used bleach london total bleach now usually when i bleach my hair to make it turn wacky colors i use highlighting kits and i use the bleach from that and it's only because i only dye my fringe and i don't see the point in getting like a whole big bottle of bleach that you have to turn because I'm only doing my fringe and it costs a bomb. And I think the total bleach costs seven pounds or five pounds. So it was pretty cheap. Uh, I, did use, I didn't use it all, but I made it all up because I thought it's a new product to me. Let's follow the rules. And yeah, and it took so well. A creamy mixture. Most of the bleach that I've used is like blue, like it turns blue, but this is white and it looked like cream. And I, and I really, it didn't smell nice because it's bleach. And it seemed like really potent, strong stuff, which is always a good thing. Uh, but I was like crying at one point because I was like, oh my God, this is so strong. And it looked like this afterwards. So it took really well. And I know these pictures are awful, but yeah, it's it took really well. It was really light. My only thing is usually when I use bleach, it doesn't dry my hair out that much. It obviously makes it a bit ratty and Ugh. it really dried my hair out and they do have like this rejuvenating thing it involved you putting your blooming hair in like a towel for like 10 20 minutes and ain't nobody got time for that i just put some argan oil in and it kind of did the trick and plus as well i was um gonna dye it later because i did bleached it in the afternoon so then i used bleach london uh this color washed up mermaid and the directions say you have to wash your hair meant to come out that colour. It's a lot stronger than the colour. I don't really care. It's a wacky colour. Uh, but it said to wash your hair and something I know that keeps hair light and kind of keeps everything in is silver shampoo. This is also from Bleach London. I've never used uh, silver shampoo before. In my entire life, I dismiss brassy tones and eliminate unforgivable yellow. And like, from the bleaching there was a tiny bit that was yellow apart from that most of it was platinum blonde so i used this and a lie it's like purple in color which freaked me out it smells like men's aftershave it smells nice but it confused me a little bit that it smelled like men's aftershave see i did put that in the bleached hair then washed the rest of my hair as per and then you towel dry it and then put this boy in once again though I don't know whether you can tell, this really dried my hair out and I've never had that problem with the hair dyes I've used and I mainly use the Schwarzkopf, Schwarzkopf? Like Live Colour XXL and I've also used a product called Stargazer, like their dyes because they have so many different dyes and I don't know whether you can see but some bits didn't take as well but like compared to my roots that bit. That's probably it, that is my error more than likely. It's non-permanent hair colour, cream fades within two to 10 washes. I haven't washed it since I put the dye in, so 
I don't know how well that's gonna do. Really, really happy with Bleach London and I will definitely buy it again if it doesn't all run out within the first wash. Like, I think that was five pounds or that was five or seven pounds. So they're all pretty cheap. If you're wondering how I style my hair, I use a John Frieda frizzies because I have naturally that hair. And I use these straighteners, they're Remington ones, which I probably need to clean. I don't know what like kind of brand number thing they are. They came in a heat proof pack thing too. So if you know what they are, I have them ones. And I always kind of put like a little curl in it so it looks more natural and not like I straightened it and it's like, I used to do that. I used to straighten it so it was like. Whoosh. So yeah, Bleach London. This wasn't sponsored, but if you want to send me free things and sponsor me, I'm all for it. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like this kind of video and want me to do more of different products I like or different companies I like, give it a good thumb in. Tell me in the comments below like if you want me to do more stuff like this or like if you you dye your hair, recommend colours and products and whatever. I'm all for it. Um, subscribe, that'd be a great help. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye bye.